Well, this is going to be a treat, and let's start off with somebody that my very first season of calling women's basketball play-by-play was the point guard. I feel like I've known you longer than that, but uh, first of all, great to see Elia Flores, and uh, secondly, I guess you just wrapped up uh, your latest pro season. Tell people uh, who you play for and how it went this year. So, uh, well, first, uh, hi, everybody. I'm so happy you guys have me here. And I play this year for Uni Girona, which is one of the top teams in the Spanish first league. Um, we did pretty good. We were we lost in the elite eight of, um, of like EuroLeague. And then we end up losing semifinals of the Spanish league. Um, but we did pretty good. And I'm just so happy to be able to play pro. So when you're talking about EuroLeague, you're going up against other nations. Uh, did you run into Kit Locks? I know I saw a photo yes. of you, and I no, know yeah. they won. <laughs> <laughs> we won both games. Don't tell her, but... Yeah. Oh, nice. So she won her <laughs> league, but when they played you, okay, different story. I got you. What, what, what was that like, though? It was really exciting. Um, I got to play against also Maria Jespersen. That she also plays in the Spanish league. Ariana Pujol. It's so nice seeing like uh, former Bulls playing against each other as a pro and uh, playing against kids. She's playing in Italy. I'm playing in Spain. But uh, as you said, we got to play each other, and it was uh, it was weird at first because. We love to play together and it was just weird, but we won both games, but it's true that she had a great season in Italy. She actually just won the MVP of the Italian league. So I'm just so happy for her too. I guess when you have what's been built up at USF and you have all these international players, you guys are going to run into each other, but wow, you really, uh, seemingly your entire, you know, former team. Um, do you guys ever get a chance to, sit back for a couple of minutes anyway and, and relive your old days just a little bit? What, did, what do you remember when you talk to your former teammates about your time at USF? Yeah, well, uh, I played against Aria Maria here in Spain. It's hard to have time because it's so fast. We just travel the day before and then we get to sleep in the place we play and then we play the next day. And it's so hard to have like some free time to, to speak. Ari, she's from my city. So during summer, we usually see each other and we always like remember like... I don't know, like USF days and how much fun we had. Um, and then with Kit, since it's farther, the travel, we have usually more time. And yes, we got to have dinner together. I don't know, it's always a great time. And we always say, like, we hope to have the chance to play against with each other. Um, you know, I remember from Kit, you know, when, when you have players from Spain and we do have a lot of, you know, Jose Fernandez, sort of Spanish food. We don't, we, I don't even really know what Latvian food is like. Where, where do you guys end up going to eat? What kind of restaurant do you eat at when you eat dinner together with Kit Laksa? She likes, I don't know what they eat in, in Latvia really, but she loves <laughs> Spanish food, that's for sure. And of she course. loves pizza and she loves all type of, uh, of normal food, let's say. So I don't know, when I was in Italy, we got to eat pizza. Here we went for some tapas, you know, just normal food, I guess. Um, when you think back, I'm sure Jose comes to mind, uh, and I, I'm guessing he keeps tabs on you and, and checks in with you. Uh, do you still have that good relationship? And uh, what is it? Is it different a little bit when he's trying to be your coach and get you to perform on the court, and now he's more your friend? Yeah, coach is well. He also, when I was playing in USF, even though he was a coach, of course it's different because you see him as a coach. But he always had that part of being kind of like a father, a father figure, and he always uh try to make sure everyone was okay so we also had this type of relationship but it's true every time he comes to Spain he texts me like oh let's if you're in Barcelona or I'm going to Valencia let's see if we can meet up it's hard because during season um we never have free time but I know he texted me like a month ago saying like he was coming here if we had time to see each other we didn't uh, get the chance finally to see each other but it's uh I'm he always texts me he always checks on me and it's just uh I think for USF program is uh so good to have a, a guy like this that he's been working with this international athletes for so long so um, he knows how to manage that and how to take care of all the players. And do, are you able to go the other way with it sometimes? Do you still keep uh, tabs on your old team? Do you follow along with the Bulls? I know you're busy over there with your professional career, but do you still uh, take some moments and see how USF's doing? Yeah, I mean, now it's so easy with Instagram, Twitter. It's so easy to follow uh, 
the girls and um, I have the chance to watch some games of the like the end of the season and the NCAA tournament with the ESPN player app you can watch some of the games it's just crazy now because it feels to me like I graduated like a few years ago and it's been longer time because now it, it was just Shay uh, from when I play still, right. still on the team that she's been there forever I don't know for six <laughs> years or something but yeah uh, I don't know a lot of the players but I still follow them and uh, I know they still have like some Italian players I think like Portuguese so it's nice to see how the international culture with American culture keeps going. Well, they are going to have a new Spanish player, and I don't expect you to know everything about every player from Spain, but Marina Asensio, since I, my knowledge is very small, tell people what you know about her. Well, she's much younger than me, I'm telling you. I'm old now, you know, so right. <laughs> it's harder to know all the players. But yeah, I heard about her. I heard good things. Um, she's been playing for the Spanish youth national team for so many years. And I know she's going to bring that intensity, that Spanish, uh, I don't know. I know what you mean. That. Yes. <laughs> so I know it's going to be great for the program. And for her, she's going to have a really good experience for sure. And then just we, we talked briefly at the beginning about your, your last year. So you went over there, you were playing in Spain, then Italy. You, you played for several teams. Just take us through your entire professional experience so far. Um, it's been kind of a roller coaster because when you are in uh, here in America, uh, you well, I stayed there for four years in the same university. So um, and you kind of have everything here, even though um, it's not like professional basketball, but sometimes it's more professional than when you actually go professional. Um, so it was hard at the beginning to get adapted again to the Spanish type of playing basketball. Um, so the first year was hard, then I went to Italy and it was also uh, hard, but then when I came back after, well, when COVID started and I came back to Spain, um, I got the chance to play with my, one of my old coaches before going to America and he really gave me that confidence back and I started playing much better and I actually got the call to go to the Spanish national team, like senior which is really hard to, to make it. Um, and I was there like practicing during the summer. And now I, last year I signed here in Unigirona, which I said, uh, it's one of the top teams. Uh, I signed for this last season and for this upcoming season. So I'm really happy to have uh, this contract and I hope I can play here for many more years. It's great to have, know you're, you have a home for a second year in a row that's outstanding and we're all going to be Uni Girona fans, but I do want to wrap it up with what you just said because uh, and obviously you're with a great situation now, but not that you took it for granted while you were at USF, but now looking back, can mm -hmm. you tell people how together that program, this program, the Bulls is and how, how well they have things running? Well, it's really amazing because, um, as I said, you have everything you need. You have uh, all these managers that help you. When you need to go shoot, you have those managers. Or when you need, uh, after practice, you just throw the clothes and they clean for you. Here, in, as a pro, it's not like that. You do your <laughs> stuff and you just play and you get money, which is great also, but it's different. You have so many coaches, uh, Coach Jose taking care of you, whatever you need, you know, on and off the court. Here is more like you just go, well, it's a job. So you just go to work, you do your job, you try to win games, you try to win championships and you get that check at the end of the month. But after it's all you, you know, if you have to do this extra work, it's all on you. If you have to go to the physio, we have physios, but it's more like every player has to be more professional on their own instead of having like that big program like we had here that we don't have to worry about nothing just play basketball and the rest was taken care of from the staff and from the university so it's different and when you become a pro you see how lucky you were to have all these facilities and to have all these people uh, helping you become a basketball player Wow. Well, that's a, a good little encapsulation there. We really appreciate it. I take it that you're not playing any basketball over the summer. You're just going to take it easy or what? Do uh, you have something else in, in store? Well, pro season usually is about eight months, you know. Oh, okay. So now we have off, let's say, until August, but still you have to, as I said, now I have to go back to my house and work with my strength and conditioning coach, my 
shooting coach, my everything. I have to do it by, with my own. And maybe I have, uh, there is nothing this summer of national team. Um, maybe like doing some three on three, which I also like, and it keeps me on shape. So maybe I do that and I just spend some time with my family, friends and travel. And I would love to come to Tampa and see everybody, but I don't know if that will happen this year. Well, whenever it does, don't forget me. And thank of you course. very much. Laya, it was great to see you again. Thanks for doing this. Thank you guys for having me.